Today, we're going to do the food play, and tomorrow we'll do the toy play. And the reason I'm doing that is, one, the, the food play, one, they both take a fair amount of energy, and so doing them both lumped in together winds up your puppy doesn't have enough in the tank for both of them in most cases when you're trying to get that, because uh, energetically they take a lot from the dog uh, and from the handler, for that matter. The other thing is that the food and toy uh, can conflict with each other when you have little puppies. So when you're first starting in training, the dogs, your puppy usually likes one better than the other, right? Uh, they're usually not in perfect harmony. And so if I'm starting with younger puppies and they like food much more than they like toys, and I come in and I do food work, and then I come in and try to play, they still want the food and they don't want to play at that moment in time. And if I give, have just done a session of food work, they're expecting food. Right? And we talked uh, briefly before about this, uh, what we call law of expectation of rewards, right? And so what happens is in training, I can create an expectation for a certain type of reward, right? And so if I come in here and give my dog five pieces of steak in a row, my dog now is expecting a piece of steak. And so then if I try to hand them a piece of kibble, they spit it out, like, I don't want that, what the hell, we signed a contract for steak. So give me steak, right? And that's demotivating.